So let's turn the great nation of Chad into a Giga Chad empire. But I'm gonna make sure this is gonna be difficult. I'm basically gonna force myself to only attack my neighbors. No longer will I be able to just attack the entire Caribbean and steal their resources even though it's like halfway across the other side of the globe. Now this won't be impossible for Chad, but it will be pretty difficult still. Luckily, I have a multitude of neighbors to attack in the very beginning and I'm in the center of Africa. So I'll be able to continue to expand and take on some smaller guys, hopefully. The other rule I've given myself is I can attack across any water. So my only route will be to go through Egypt and then maybe Israel. Does this count? Can I go after them? Maybe? So I'm pretty much only going to be in the eastern hemisphere for this entire game because I, I won't be able to touch the west. I've never tried this before in this game and I don't even know if it's possible. So let's explore some territory next to us and figure out what is going on. So far I'm seeing some things that I like. This is already looking manageable at least in the beginning. I mean I really just got to pick up territory at this point. You got to get as many factories as possible. Now in Chad, we are starting with Chad Petroleum, Chad Infrastructure, and Chad Technology. Our weakest neighbor is looking like it's the Central African Republic, possibly. Of course, there's a European power backing up most of these places. Freaking France. Do I need to build a boat if I am not doing a naval invasion? I feel like that doesn't make any sense. I know these two have boats. I just don't want to build boats. Now Cameroon has no air force and no navy, I think. So they're probably a good one to go after first. I could also also fund rebels by giving them some financial aid. Now there's really no point of exploring anything beyond my neighbors because I can't attack that stuff earlier and I might as well not tempt myself. If I see like a half star nation somewhere around the world I'm gonna really want to attack it. I feel like I shouldn't be able to build a navy since I don't have any coastlines but whatever. The other problem is am I even gonna be able to take out 10 nations with these Restrictions I'm giving myself to get the nuke. Nuke is a really powerful part of this game. Oh, I forgot a whole factory. We need to increase taxes. There we go. Now, it's much cheaper to fund rebels in this game. So anytime we have a chance to fund rebels, we want to do that. At least to get them to level one. Now, Cameroon, luckily, is going to give us access to three new nations. So I feel good about that. Going to go ahead and give these guys some financial aid. That brings them up to one star, which means I need not as strong of a military. Oh, I almost missed that they do have an air force up here. Could have been a giant waste of money for me. Because we're playing this game this way, too, we want to be as efficient as possible. I don't want to like lose a bunch of troops if I can help it. I mean, obviously, but normally I'm pretty careless where I send my military. I just realized maybe Sudan is actually a better option because for some reason Cameroon has a one and a half star air force. That means we're going to need two stars to beat them. That's gonna be really expensive. Can maybe make this faster by going after Sudan. I can fund rebels here and then we'd win the land war. I don't want to begin to think about boats right now. I mean, first things first, strengthen the Royal Chad force. You know what? Rebels can, I have my money back please propaganda achieved take back the propaganda i'm just imagining like sucking out all the tv commercials that i put into their brain like through their eyes i would rather fund these rebels here why didn't i think about this earlier wait they do have a navy though so maybe i no never mind i don't want to do this all right well hopefully this is enough i can't actually guarantee it but uh i think we're good i love that we set out on a boat went off the coastline we don't have any boats then we invaded in even okay whatever we're not gonna ask any questions it's a country ball game drew just leave it alone looks like we are gonna win up here wow that was close yeah, I lost a, a lot of my planes. All right, well, luckily, Cameroon's gonna give us two things, wood and oil rigs, which is good because we already have petroleum. But the biggest thing is we can figure out what's going on in Equatorial Guinea, Gabon, Gabon, Republic of Congo. Oh, and these places are looking nice and weak. Oh, thank goodness. This is only gonna open up the Congo for us if we attack the Republic of Congo. Oh, but this is some great news. Okay, good, good. Now, there are no rebels right here, but that is totally fine. Do these guys have a navy, Equatorial Guinea? I think they just have a military. That's probably the easiest one to take up next. And my royal army is already pretty strong still. Spain doesn't even care about Equatorial Guinea. Okay, so that should be good. I should be able to just kind of walk into this country. It's like literally nobody there. Again, a naval invasion even though we don't have a navy. Okay, thank you. We need more factories to fuel the Giga Chad Empire. Ooh, magnesium. Wait, that is not mag- Okay, well, just ignore that. Are there rebels gonna pop up already in Cameroon? Seriously? I do not want to have to spend to defend this nation. Gabon, it does have a navy. It's a very small navy, but it, it's something. I also have access to a coast, which is nice, which means that I should be able to trade. I think it's fair that I trade. I can't invade countries across the ocean, but I should still be able to trade. I think I would have not allowed myself to do it, though, if I didn't have a coast. Okay, I do actually have to discuss over Oman here to go there and buy cashews. We're gonna buy Max. Uh, and I will save up as much money because this is how we're going to get a huge influx of cash. Really speed this game along. Army's doing pretty good. I could probably walk in with this one star and still defeat these guys, definitely. Maybe I'll just grab a second nation real quick. I'm just going to get sailors. I'm just going to get 200 sailors and it should be able to beat their 0.1% um, 
navy. I, I really think that actually would be how easy. Yeah, this should be good. Man, luckily we are starting off in Chad. We had so many options. Okay, so we have more oil rigs now in the Empire. And we finished the job by attacking the Republic of Congo. I do believe this Congo is going to be a lot scarier. I'm not going to reveal them until I actually get close enough. Then maybe go after the Central African Republic, possibly. Okay, so I've got all 200 cashew nuts. Now we sell them to South Korea because cashews are big in South Korea, I guess. Going to sell all right there, which is a profit of like... 18,000. Good doing business with you. Which means I'm going to start rolling over nations. Let's start with the first one. And from this country, we have more oil rigs. Wow. Thank you for that. I have like five now. All right. Here's the big moment of truth. What's going on in the Congo? Also, what is this? I don't know what that is. Is that their territory? Is there an enclave? Enclave? Clave, whatever that's called? Let me see. Let me just... Oh, that is. I can technically attack Angola. I would have never known about this. Is that true? Do they really own that land? You know what? I'm not going to ask any questions. Technically, they do. Uh, Is that even a good nation to attack, though? They do have rebels that I can fund, but they also have an air force and a navy, and they're being backed by Portugal. So maybe the Congo would be better to go after. The Congo have no navy, although they're being backed by Belgium. Belgium, get out of the Congo. I mean, at this point, I can kind of attack whoever I want and probably be okay with all the gold, but I still want to be efficient with it. I don't like this one and a half star air force, but it's better than fighting this two star here. Actually, a lot of these countries have about a two star air force. It's actually better for me to attack nations. Uh, the cheapest is an army. The air force is the most expensive, obviously, to get better. Maybe I will attack Libya, actually. There are rebels that I can fund. They do have an air force. I take it back. Okay, the Central African Republic should be ours. I love that. Even to attack a landlocked nation, we have to go to the coast first. Now, the Air Force thing is going to be close, but it should be fine overall. Okay, what do we got? Ooh, we're getting two things. That's what I'm talking about. Let me guess. There's going to be a rebellion that pops up. Yep, in Cameroon. So what is building up in Cameroon? I saw them already. So I've got to waste cash here. That's great. I do not want to lose Cameroon. That's going to set us back. And now there's some someone's going to attack the Congo now. There's a rebel update and a foreign attack, uh, which I don't know who's where's that coming from. Portugal. Now that I've invaded Car and I have uh, new things. Oh, I'm getting diamonds now. Let's figure out what's going on in South Sudan. South Sudan shouldn't be too strong. They are okay. Yeah. <sighs> It's not that fun, but okay. Thought it'd be a little bit easier. Oh, the battle's happening. Hold on. Okay, good. I probably upgraded him too much. I didn't need to upgrade him that much, but whatever. South Sudan is probably a good option to attack. Although, two stars here to beat them on ground. Oh, and here comes Portugal. Come on, guys. Can you leave me alone? Oh, wow. Portugal barely sent anything over. Weak sauce. You know what? If I attack the Congo, I'm going to get access to so many new neighbors. I'm going to go ahead and do that. So we're going to upgrade this guy first of all. I'm going to do the bare minimum for my military. They don't have a navy. And then I'm going to need to probably spend all out here. Yeah, I've got 10,000 cash still. That's probably still not enough. There's, they have a two-star air force with the help of Belgium. All right, we're going to have to go two and a half stars. And now I guess I'll try to walk in. That was pretty expensive, but it gives us access to, like I said, so many new neighboring countries, so many new territories to attack. Kenya, Rwanda, and hopefully the Congo have a lot of resources. It's a big country. I don't think it will, but we'll see. There's also another trade deal I can start going after. Okay, we're going to Italy to purchase ivory. That flows off the tongue. Got to figure out what's Italy. Italy is, of course, a five-star. Going through the Suez. I've bought an all 200. All right, so let's see. America wants this. This deal is not going give to me, give me as much money as I got from South Korea, but I'll still take it. Oh, yeah, that's still good. Okay, so you know what? That makes up for all the uh, planes that I had to buy to beat the Democratic... Republic of Congo. So they have copper mines and a mine cobalt. That's something. Wish they had one more research re resource, but that's fine. Alright, there's a couple nations already that are looking weak. This is looking nice. Should be able to walk into Rwanda and Burundi. Okay, yeah, they literally have nothing. This is gonna be nice. Wasn't expecting to just expand down south, but whatever, I'll take it. We got them beans. Oh, also Uganda has almost nothing too. Oh, this is so nice. Last thing we need right now is for more nations to attack or more nations to fund rebels. Uganda got some stuff. Oh, it's just all beans right here. Oh, I'm sorry. This is Kenya. I, I missed yeah, I said Tanzania it was Kenya. My bad. They have a two and a half star navy. It's so Kenya's not that fun. Whoa, chill with the two and a half star uh, army, which actually isn't that bad. Yeah, that's not that bad because the rebel I can fund rebels, but I, it's still not fun either. I think I want uh, Zambia next because Zambia gives me again way more countries to attack. Someone's trying to go after Uganda. Turkey is. I don't think so. Turkey, Ottoman Empire, get out of here. So I'll go ahead and uh, spread religious. Uh, something. And then all I have to do is upgrade to a two-star air force and we're good. Alright, even 
more territory. Uh, we have golds. That's that's the symbol for gold. Also, I see rebels have popped up, and I just now uh, upgraded my my defense. So we almost lost that big nation. I don't know what we would have done then. Well, technically, I would have just lost this area, but I still could have attacked these neighbors. All right, so let's figure out what's going on here. Also, can I technically attack? I don't know. I think I don't think I can attack them. Namibia is a possibility. Namibia doesn't look that fun. Zimbabwe looks nice and easy. Uh, Mozambique does not. All right, we're gonna attack Zimbabwe, and we defended against Turkey or the Ottomans. I don't even know what they were trying to do over here. We have plenty of money. Also, we're about to get our first nuke. Oh, we already have our first nuke. We're not even near a five-star country yet, so I'm gonna save my nuke. Probably for Israel. I think Israel's probably gonna be a five-star. I don't know if technically I can attack this nation. I know Israel, I for sure can, but that's probably the closest five-star. Actually, you know, it might be South Africa. Here, let's just see real quick. What European power am I pissing off the most? Is it the British yet? It's kind of the British and the Belgians, the Belgians, Germany, maybe. I don't know. It's probably gonna be the British overall. The problem with, um, I wonder if this, you know, so like I, I have to attack 10 nations and then I get nukes. Is it going to, do I have to get, and then it goes to 15? Is it gonna count the nations that I, it, I don't think I'm explaining this correctly. Either way, this should be an easy nation for us to take, Botswana. Uh, it's not that easy, but it's a nation that we could take, maybe. Oh, wow, South Africa is not even close to a five-star. Wait, South Africa is that weak in this game? Two-star Navy, two-star Air Force. I mean, they're not super weak. I just thought they'd be a lot stronger for some reason. I do want to start making my way up here. Can I attack Sudan? Sudan or Libya? Which one would be easier? I think it'd be Libya, actually. So I'm going to get the religious propaganda. I'm going to get this right here. Boom. I think I'm going to need two and a half star navy okay air force we got yeah i think we got this okay i'm gonna move into libya i'm gonna upgrade my oh no tobacco and diamonds here from zimbabwe and then of course another rebel update in the congo they're not happy with us being there because libya is ours we get mines and more oil rigs yay okay so let's see what egypt's got going on Ooh, egypt's not fun that is not fun maybe we nuke egypt let me see if i was right i'm i can still explore other nations i'm just trying not to israel is not that powerful that's weird they don't even have a navy or an air force that's really okay so we we easily nuke uh egypt three stars that is by far the strongest nation that we now neighbor and then luckily with the three star nation we nuke them into oblivion and it's instantly ours so i'm gonna go ahead and do that just in case it doesn't carry over like i want to continue to get look for my second nuke all right well luckily we have a base off of the atlantic somehow and we are just gonna launch our rocket from there would have been easier to launch our rocket from chad but maybe it's hard to build rockets in the sahara desert i don't know please don't friendly fire please don't friendly fire this actually might kind of um put a little bit of radiation in our own territory depending on where the winds are moving so it should just fall oh it didn't fall wow that sucks i guess two and a half stars in order to fall cameroon is going to be attacked again and we stop the rebels in the congo okay well i guess we will get access to egypt so the thing is i mean i guess it's something i might as well just take it i i thought mm, i don't know well at least we can move through Israel now. And Israel borders three nations. So if I want to move through Asia, I can pretty easily. Ooh, that's right. And we get a lot of stuff out of Egypt. Only three, not four. It could have been better, but I'll take it. So for this next thing, we need to colonize 19 countries. Oh, wait, Israel is actually not that... Wait, was it always two and a half stars? I thought they were weaker. Did people change up their stars when I nuked the first country? I don't know. Okay, that's actually not that fun. And I can't fund anybody. Oh, wait, that's not good. I don't think I'd waste a nuke on it, but how expensive would this get? So I know I can easily get us to 2000 so for wow that is going to get expensive for me to take out israel that'd be another seven thousand twelve thousand oh my goodness we're talking like twenty thousand gold it'd pretty much be the entire like all my gold so we do not want that that is not worth it that's just a military they don't even have a navy or anything all right never mind i had rebels to fund that'd be nice i think we just go after south sudan now i don't really even know why there's probably a better, maybe. I'm not sure if there's a better one to attack. Oh, here we go. These guys are super weak. Why didn't I see this before? I don't even think I need to upgrade. I could attack them right now. Whatever they're at, I'll go after them. I'm probably not going to do that because that'd be dumb. But scary thing is I am beginning to run out of neighbors. Their trade deal this time to India for die. India is definitely a five-star nation. Oh, they're not. What? Well, they have five stars. They're not five stars all around. Okay, so that was an easy victory here. Just giving us some tobacco farm. Let's see what Ethiopia has got. Ethiopia is the only new nation that we get opened up. I thought Ethiopia would be strong. Yeah, they um, uh, not really. We could take on Ethiopia pretty easily and then get access to some stuff. Ooh, sell narcotics. Love it. And let's buy my dyes here. The statue. India stole the Statue of Liberty, apparently. Who wants this stuff again? Australia. Australia, do you also want the Statue of Liberty? You put it out there with the emus in the middle of the outback. That'd be quite the sight. Okay, so I'm at 30,000 gold. Should be easy enough to defeat Ethiopia now. We haven't moved towards the uh, west at all so far. Oh, I do have access to attack Tunisia and... 
Algeria. Oh, Tunisia is specifically very weak. Really weak. Why are they so weak? I don't get it. More rebels in the Congo. This is weird. It's literally just weird. Something fishy going on there. Okay, flowers and beans. A lot of beans in this region. Does the map only show certain resources for certain areas? I wonder if I get to... I wish the resources were able to be traded. I wish it punished me for not going around the world and taking things out, right? Wait, why am I saying that? Why would I want this to be harder on me? Okay, Tunisia has no navy. Why is Tunisia so weak in this? Um, I think Italy is going to want to take Libya back. No, it's actually Belgium that wants to take Libya. That's weird. They only got shirts in Tunisia, really? I can't attack any European power. Like I said, we have to go through neighbors, which, oh man, I'd have to go through either Turkey, who's probably five stars, or Russia. Every time I say someone's five stars, though, it doesn't always turn out like that. Okay, we have a one for sure nation we can walk through. So this is the end of the line. We're now in the Horn of Africa, so uh, we're not getting any new access to, to people to attack. Oh, and these guys don't have anything either. No navy? Felt like mega mines. Man, Somalia's got some stuff going on here. Oh man, Yemen is so weak. Am I pretty much trapped forever behind Africa? I don't really know how this border works. I'm pretty sure, yeah, they only border Israel. I don't think I can technically attack this country. Here comes Belgium trying to take back Libya, but I don't think that's gonna work. I finally eat Nigeria, or Niger is probably better. All right, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll take them out just just to give us access to all these and then while we're doing that I'm, I might as well just I already know I got the win I should not be saying stuff like that okay so three new countries Benin is nice and weak radioactive chemicals what the hell are you guys doing over here I don't think you guys should be just having radioactive chemicals it seems concerning coconut farm okay we got this should be a weak nation yeah okay that's good and then with that I'll explore here uh, Burkina Faso also very weak why don't I have two military forces I wish I had the option to split my guys because they're just yeah It'd be nice if I could split my guys. Some go here. So I mean, once we get powerful enough, because you can't, you have to do one war at a time. Okay, gold there. Um, this nation, Ghana, is surprisingly not very easy to take. Ivory Coast also. That would be a little bit easier. I think we're done with all the super easy nations. Actually, these small guys are probably weak. I would like South Africa, but is it worth it? It's looking kind of expensive. I'm seeing a lot of stars there. Mozambique would probably be a little bit easier. I think I'll do Mozambique, even though it really doesn't give me any new options here. Oh, you know what? It does give me options because I can attack these guys and they should be weak. They should have literally nothing. Okay, Swaziland is ours. It, it, it taken a while for some rebels to pop up. I was getting a little concerned. Thought you guys just were ignoring me. We have a navy still going to stick to my rule though. I, I'm sure Madagascar is weak. I mean, I'll explore them just to... Oh, they're not that weak. Swaziland has farms. Wow, all right. Tiny place to have farms. Goal here is just to get to seven more countries destroyed so I can get Kenya. I hope I don't lose any nations. That would suck right now. Then I nuke Israel and that would open up all of Asia for us because yeah, that, that that's just so expensive. I would need four stars. I think four stars would be enough. All right, Sudan is next. Maybe Somalia? I thought there was rebels that I could fund for a second there, um, off, like, a navy rebel. That'd have been hilarious, fun pirates off Somalia. It looked like those were rebels for some reason. I wish I could attack Yemen so bad. Why did I get view of Yemen? They just look so easily eatable. I do believe it's finally time to eat Nigeria. Nigeria should give us a lot of things, I, I would think, but maybe not. Should've probably gone after Ghana and the Ivory Coast. They don't have air forces. Why am I wasting all this money in Nigeria? I, I was bothered by it, and they have a lot of population. That doesn't affect this game, but it'd be cool if it did. Oh, they do have a lot of stuff. Cashews, oil. Where were those? Where was the cashews at when I needed to sell that to South Korea? I'm literally running out of money. Kind of scary. Where did all my money go? I need all these crazy wars, but still. Here we go. Here's some money. A little bit more money I can get from South Korea buying gunpowder. I mean, it's something. It's something. I can't even buy the max. We've got a nice empire going on, though, right now. Rebel up a... Oh, man, I got to help with these rebels now and an equatorial guinea argentina wanted the gunpowder you guys going after the falklands or is the no no germans rising once more i've got a lot of questions this is only gonna give me like a thousand isn't it two thousand all right well i guess i'll take it that should be enough for the ivory coast or backwards ireland which also means we have two new countries which is what exactly what i need right here thank you liberia and thank you guinea for being nice and weak oh that's exactly what we needed that means that we got we, we're gonna get the nuke as long as we don't lose any of these foreign things that are happening these foreign rebellions there we go we got it three four seven and it's time to nuke israel the long nuke animation for that too how are there no rebels that i can fund here okay well you know while that's about to drop i might as well upgrade my military they're definitely going to be to a one star i believe having access through Israel would probably win us the game overall. Let me just explore and figure out what's going on here. Oh, we just grabbed it. How did we not just grab Egypt, but we grabbed all of Israel? So there's only one star here. That's an easy nation. That's an easy nation. Yeah, that would that would pretty much open up the game for us. Oh, that's right. And I get a free uh, a free nuke, a free third nuke. Love when I get free nukes out of nowhere. Which you know I probably nuke like Turkey or something. Actually, I probably should nuke 
Iran, because Iran would let me go through all of Central Asia, which I know is pretty weak. It would be expensive, but I could move through Iraq. And then how, how much is Iran? Yeah, I would need to nuke Iran. Or nuke Turkey and move through all the Balkan lands. Just gonna go ahead and nuke Turkey. Sorry, I just didn't want to move through Iraq. It, it's a little bit more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. Now, Turkey's still gonna be pretty strong after this. And while we're waiting, I might as well just get a little bit more factories. Wait, oh man, they were moving over and I almost didn't have them upgraded. Are they gonna have more than... Two. Turkey does still stand, but they won't for much longer. I could attack Lebanon at any point. They're not an issue. Now we go into this, like, nuclear radiation zone. That is the Ottoman Empire. We'd have access to the entire Caucasus Mountains. The Caucasus Mountains is not going to be able to stop us. Russia would stop us, though. Turkey's got to have four resources, right? Boom. Jewelry, shirts, cars, gold. This is nice. And then we'd probably move through Bulgaria, North Macedonia. Yeah, this area would be very weak, so that would open up a lot more countries. Boom. I think we actually managed to successfully do this, because at this point, uh, we're making too much gold per turn for the the world to really stop us. I actually didn't know if this was going to be possible. I was going to make the requirements neighbor and then neighbor's neighbors, but clearly, you know, I guess we did start in a really good spot, even as Chad. We probably could have start, started in a couple other spots to make us a little bit harder, but either way, we've definitely turned this into the Giga Chad Nation. And big thanks to my patrons. Isaac, I guess. Australia's Susius, Chungus. Ashton Powers, Faja. Hey, Susos, man. A uh, fat. My name Norwal. is Joe Biden. I love fat being Joe nut. Biden. Drew's Argentinian grandpa. Cowboys 83. Bring back Poland. Barnsky W. Good old Raya. Drew's pet dog. Jakov. Rooney, Marco, Hendetta, Fresh Animation, Robert E. The Mexican Why am I doing this? And the Conqueror.